Good morning, FlossTube, YouTube, Stitchers everywhere. Um, a couple of people have asked me to do a video on some other furniture that I've repurposed. So I thought I'd just make this one short and sweet and kind of go over a couple of the things that I've done for as far as um, that department. Um, I have a couple more uh, laying about my house. I'll get to those in an upcoming video when I have a bit more of those to show. Because right now they're just kind of a work in progress. So, let's get to it. This one here is a child secretary. And it actually holds our printer. Um, when I first picked this up, it was horrid. Very horrid. I'll show you actually what it was covered in. It was covered in this horrid brown, tan, and navy blue velvet. See, it's kind of fuzzy. The entire object was covered in that. So you can imagine, oh God, it was so horrible. My husband was so scared when I brought this home. He's like, you can't be serious. And I was like, no, you just wait. It's, it's going to be cool when it's finished. And I had to use you know, soapy dishwater and a butter knife because a paint scraper kept gouging the wood after it would get wet. I had to use a butter knife to get all the velvet off of this entire project. The whole thing was coated. It was so disgusting. But this is the second paint job that it's had. Um, when I first got it, I painted it like a cranberry red and it and went in the kitchen and we stored our phone and the mail and the printer and it just it worked out good it was just a weird little thing that just kind of fit but the paint job that it has now um, I've painted it in an ivory color and then I went around with um, oh it's some kind of stencil gold paint and I just rubbed that around the edges to kind of antique it a bit to give it kind of like a French shabby chic look uh, the roses are painted in oil and uh, the inside I, I need to put some chains on it yet to hold this up better but the inside has these little pigeon holes and it's just so cute and I just keep miscellaneous um, writing things in there that I don't often use I have another desk that holds the majority of that stuff but it's got little carvings on here and it's just so cute and again, um, originally this interior was painted, I think, yellow. It was actually yellow on the inside with that navy rust and tan velvet exterior. I mean, hideous. So hideous. And then I, but the color it has now is kind of a grayish green. It looks kind of aqua, but the color for it was some kind of gray green so that's one little object and I gave it a second facelift because I wanted it to match this one and I have pictures of both of these projects uh, featured in my blog of the process and what they originally looked like although I don't think I have the little cupboard here I don't have an original picture of that because I didn't have a camera um, for when it first came home with the velvet on it but for the second paint job I did photograph the progress or the process I'm sorry so this used to be an old entertainment center and uh, I put big sofa feet on the bottom and uh, gave the outside a facelift it was uh, solid brown and I wanted it to look like a French armoire for clothes or whatever but that's not what I use it for the panels uh, this was the first time I painted roses and I thought they were so much fun they were just oh I can't wait to try some more and I just I just went with you know I wanted it to have that old look you know I, I just seen some pictures on the internet of old painted French wardrobes and I wanted one so bad 
So when I went hunting for a cupboard, I could make a fake one. The handles I got from Menards, and uh, I don't think... They were originally a really dark color, and I just spray painted them gold. So, what's it inside? Oh, I can open this one first. And inside is where I keep my instruments. And in the bottom, there's the really old violin here. That, uh, that's a family heirloom, and that passes down to my son from his great-grandfather. Uh, my husband's grandpa played violin. The guitar is another heirloom that came from my mother-in-law, and she gave that to me when she no longer wanted it. The violin back there is a student one that I started with. This one here is my little treasure, and it's nearly 200 years old, but it's an old Stradivarius copy, and it was in pieces when I originally got it. Uh, a very dear friend gave it to me. Her father played it when he was a kid, but it was in pieces, and she says, if you want to try to learn violin, you know, see if this one will work for you. So I took a box of violin pieces. Um, let me just unfold it. This part was not attached to this part. These had cracks in it. This wasn't on here. Um, this part was detached and there was a big crack in the side. So it needed a major overhaul because it was in pieces. But now, oh my goodness. It's got such a voice. I just need to learn how to play it better. Up here is a homemade beading loom that I made at the same time as uh, my needlework stand, the big Celtic one. And this is made out of walnut. The cool thing I love about it, I seen a picture in a catalog and I wanted one but I couldn't afford to buy it. It was like a hundred bucks and it was only half the size. But you can slide it's got a little thing on there and you slide it down that groove and you can make it whatever size you want just by pushing the peg down in holes it's got these big rods on there and some dowels with some nails drawn in that holds your threads so I don't get to use this very often which is sad but that's okay I got other stuff to keep me busy those are zills. If you don't know what zills are, leave me a comment. Um, I don't want to get into it right here. And then that just holds all the metronomes and guitar picks and extra strings and stuff. So that is the music cupboard. Um, the people who had this entertainment center actually did a lot of the work for me. They had already put shelves in and they were using it as a cupboard for kids laundry. And then I come along and picked it up at a garage sale and I paid 30 bucks for it I think and hauled it home and gave it a facelift. Let me step back here and you can see some of my uh, painting canvases stacked there in the corner. They need to have something done with them but I ain't had a chance. So, that is my fake French wardrobe, or armoire, that got a facelift. So, anyway. The, uh, this concludes this uh, short and sweet little video of um, some other junky kinds of things that you can repurpose, give them a facelift, and, you know, and actually enjoy having them in your house. So I hope uh, you guys get some more ideas and on things that what you can do and I'll see you again in my next video and I'll see you on your channels. Bye.